gray. Yes, just chalk. Making him look younger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now he has to be good. Yeah. <laughs> you spray his face to make the, help the makeup stay? Yeah. I miss that. I missed your unpleasant moment. He's watching though. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? It's a nice dog. That's dogs a lot like Zeke. It's related to him. Okay, but you got it. Oh, okay. Thanks. You're such a capable young man. She's the nicest person. Things like that. Oh. This is so exciting. Oh, here comes Francis. She just walked out of the bathroom. Here she comes with Piper. Where's the banner? Come on, this way. Grab her by the hand. Let's go. No. We're coming. Come on, come on. She still has no clue. Is she just the most precious? Thank God. Yeah. She still doesn't know. She's still talking to her. She does not have a clue. Are just a sample of the. Come closer. Right, let's get closer. Come on in. <laughs> I'll start over. Okay. Get it. The Polly Club of Colorado and all these Pollies and their owners are happy to honor Phyllis and Chester Pollies. This gathering of Pollies is just a sample of what has been a lifetime of dedication to the Pollies. Phyllis has loved Pollies since she was a young girl and made it clear to her husband that you're going to be a part of their lifetime. <laughs> Our breed is a better breed today because of your devotion to it. Yes. Oh, every dog that is here and every ribbon that is worn represents a beloved collie that goes back to Chester Collins. In 1974, I moved back to Colorado from Kentucky with my foundation bitch. And I was sent by the breeder there to meet with some people called the Hiltmans because they were also from Kentucky. So I met the Hiltmans and I went to my first dog show and I met Phyllis and we seemed to hit it off. <laughs> and the Hiltmans didn't stay very long in Collies, but what I remember that they said to me when it was obvious we were starting to be friends was, if there's any one person in the Collie Club that I would recommend that you 
become a friend of and learn from, it is Phyllis Bozar. Yes. <laughs> it is a friendship that I cherish more than I could say. We are happy to honor you today. Yeah. yeah. I'm supposed to go next. Oh, you next? There's more. There's more. This is from Adria Wiener. She said, in the late 60s, I joined the Chesapeake Collie Club in Virginia, and that's the first time I met Phyllis Bogart. Both of us were married to military men. men. Actually, I don't remember much about those times, uh, but my memory of that time was of her dog, Chestry's Black Bell, who I thought was one of the most beautiful collie bitches I had ever seen. We'll hear more about her in a minute. That initial meeting was only brief, and she and her husband were reassigned shortly after I joined the club. Fast forward to the early 70s. I was now living in Nebraska. I had gone to a collie specialty in Kansas City, and that's where I saw Phyllis again. Shortly after that, my husband and I made a trip to Colorado to purchase a collie and stayed with Phyllis and Jerry. I count that time as the beginning of our friendship. Through the years, we have maintained this long-distance friendship by phone, dinners at dog shows, and even did a breedings, which successfully combined our two lines. Chestry and Eden Rock. I think we only went to one dog show together in all those years and it was Westminster in New York. Phyllis is one of those special people who I feel blessed to call a friend. She is smart, funny, thoughtful, and of course a talented breeder. In all the years I have known Phyllis, I don't recall her ever saying an unkind word about another person. That alone makes her special in my opinion. In closing, I'd like to say I love you Phyllis and I'm sorry I can't be there to be part of this special time. There's more. <laughs> she joined Betty Jones of Wonderland Collies and myself in 1958 or shortly thereafter to revive the Chesapeake Collie Club. I remember so well when she purchased a tiny little poplar bitch from them. She looked like an oversized Sheltie but a very good collie. When Phyllis had to move to Arizona, she decided to breed Chandel to bring in some size. She chose the handsome champion Park Lane's Mr. Top Brass. No. The Beresfords were furious. How <laughs> dare her to mix that pure poplar line. It was indeed a pure family going completely back to Topon, a complete outcross that you can't find today. From that breeding, Phyllis got her banjo man and Kira, Chestry's black bell, which she kept. Jerry was deployed to South Africa and Phyllis could only take one collie with her, which proved to be my good fortune as she asked if I would take Kira, breed her, and she would get a puppy back in return upon her return to the States. She was afraid Kira would be past breeding age, plus she needed to be treated for heartworm. Thus, our journey began. Kira came through the treatment just great. She was bred to Wonderland's Virginia Gent and produced our first champion, Champion Shenstone's Diamond Tiara. A far different collie than we have today. Our second breeding, however, established the look that Shenstone has been known for. We took her to Champion Jadine's Breeze along. Phyllis took her return puppy breezy Kira no. litter and named her Chestry's Whim of Shinstone. Shinstone. Whimmy's litter sister, Shinstone's Midnight Breeze, is the cornerstone and foundation of all Shinstone collies. Breeding her to champion Tartanside the Gladiator was the perfect combination and locked in the expression we so desired. Phyllis comes back to Virginia Beach as often as possible to visit her sister, and we try to visit on those occasions. It has been too long this time, almost 12 years ago. Phyllis got another puppy from me, a tri-litter mate to Trey, champion Shenstone's classic review, and to champions, champion Charisma Shenstone's blessing by Peggy LeCount. You know, they say friendship knows no distance. This is so true for Phyllis and I. I can think of no one more deserving than she to receive this wonderful tribute. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of it. Joyce, Shenstone. Jan Wombo many 
of you will remember her, and she does not do email, so she overnight expressed. Oh, that looks like her. <laughs> I met Phyllis and her family when I came to Colorado from Chicago almost 42 years ago. For some reason, we quickly became friends. At that time, she had a pretty mahogany sable collie named Banjo. Mm -hmm. Through the years, Phyllis has bred, raised, and shown many beautiful collies and always tried to better her breed and has done so. Her dogs are some of the best specimens in the country. But I think her favorite was a mahogany sable male named Sonny, known as Champion Chestry's Ben Eagle Bounty, that she acquired from Joyce Rossi in Longmont. Above and beyond Phyllis's success in the dog world, she should be known what a good wife, mother, grandmother she is in the, in the years she spent teaching little children and how much of an impact she made on their lives as well. She is a kind and caring and honest person. Phyllis has been a dear and true friend through good and bad times. We traveled to many shows across the country for many years and had some great laughs and sorrows, but Phyllis never changed. Even though she has bettered the collie breed, she has finished many champions and still remains a sweet, humble, and honest person. I feel honored that she considers me her friend. Phyllis, here's to you with love. Aww. I wish I could be there today and share this time with you. My thoughts and love, respect are with you. Thanks for being the person you are. Don't ever change. <laughs> Thank all of you for that. We're not yes. quite finished. <laughs> we have to. It has to be finished, but you. that's the start. It's not finished. No, but it's the response was overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Love you, Phyllis. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, Tori. You've got Tori there. Okay. That's Tori and Hunter. And here's Mr. And you've got to see our cakes. Yes. Oh, they're very cute for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hold him. Do you mind? No, Thanks. I don't have a crate for him. Are we recording? Um, and it was snowing like crazy, it was freezing cold, it was soaking wet, we were showing outside, and we were freezing. We went with four dogs and came home with three new champions. Aww. And it was really fun. No, Janet's got a grandson. 